Welcome to Detroit City Limits, the home of Train Room Gary. Today we're going to talk about the Detroit and Mackinac. Hey, welcome to Train Room Gary. Today we're going to talk about Detroit and Mackinac Railway, the steam era. Right now sitting here in front of us is a 462 steamer and we're going to fire this thing up and see what it can do. Now this being a freight train, you're going to see a lot of D&M freight cars on hand when this train pulls out. And this is our some box cars, some DM, covered hopper, Sioux line. Everything here are Michigan road names. Alright, this is a Detroit Mackinac made by Lionel covered hopper car. And uh, I take that back, this is actually made by Williams. The other one I think is made by Lionel, which we'll scoot over and take a look at it after they get weather, what happens to them. You want to get that old fashioned look, let's spend the rails a while, there they are side by side. You can see what weathering does to the car. So there it is, weathered. And there it is. Not weathered. So weathering is kind of an issue. You either like it or you don't like it. If, you, if I go back one more car here, this box car is not weathered. Detroit and Mackinac Railway 1930s steam. And back in that day they carried cargo mostly in the lower part of Michigan was the route along Lake Huron from Mackinac City to uh, Bay City, Saginaw and Flint was their main territory. They held out gypsum, gypsum board, limestone and lumber. All right, this is Train Room Gary signing off from the Detroit and Mackinac Railway. Chi-Town Union Station, home to the world's largest O-scale model trains, located right here in Michigan. See web address below. Thanks for watching Train Room Gary. Please leave comments and subscribe.